Good morning. Uh, <laughs> that is up to be debated, but I woke up this morning, five weeks out, weighed myself. I'm down in body fat and overall weight, but not by much. Doesn't really matter. The scale doesn't really mean anything, of course, as I've said before. Um, and then I took some photos for my coach and just looking at them, I felt a little frustrated because there's certain areas that I haven't really budged in a while. I was hoping that they would look a little different, but they don't. Just got some alterations made to my cardio and my diet, which is awesome. Had a good little chat with Skylar about it all. Just made myself my breakfast, what I'm supposed to be eating today, and also made Skylar breakfast. Wow, they are eating some of my favorite things, avocado, toast. I'm just having egg whites and ground chicken. That's what I'm having. So it's Saturday, it's pouring rain outside, um, and I still need to go do cardio today. So, whoop a doo doo <laughs> So this has been my Saturday so far. I haven't really accomplished much since breakfast. And I'm trying really hard to just be okay with just hanging out at home. I'm usually just, I feel like I need to be doing stuff all the time. And I do need to go to the gym and do cardio, which I'm going to just go do now because it's just driving me mental because I can't stop thinking about it. Just having a not, a, not the best start to this week. I'm not, I'm feeling like I've, got, I've hit some roadblocks and, you know, I'm not progressing the way that I thought I would be by this point and, you know, it's just not a good feeling, but this is where you just gotta power through and know that things can continue to change in five weeks. Lots of things can change in five weeks, so we'll see what happens this week. Well. I'm back in bed. <laughs> Today wasn't the best day. I struggled today with body image stuff. I struggled today with progress stuff. It's just mentally it was a really tough day. Physically I'm also just I'm hungry and I'm tired and I'm cranky and just not seeing the results of the, the kind of sacrifices I've been making. It is the night before my birthday. This experience so far has been pretty good, but there's definitely times more so than ever that I'm wondering if this type of lifestyle and commitment is something that's worth it. Everything is, has to be very controlled and monitored. It gets very repetitive and it's very restrictive and um, just because of the progress or the the rate that I'm going, I'm not a lot, I'm not really getting any like cheat meals or treat meals or any like oh you can just like have a break. Like, there's just no break because it's just crunch time. <sighs> It's just a very, I keep telling everyone, it's just a very weird and interesting experience and I'm glad that I'm doing it so that I know what this feels like. The show will be very exciting, but I don't know if I care this much about having this like, you know, show ready kind of physique. Because it's not maintainable, it's not sustainable, I don't think it's very healthy and not just physically but mentally either just 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 didn't have the best day today but ready for this day to be over and for a new day to start good morning happy birthday to me it snowed apparently last night so So far this morning, I have been in a lot better mood. I feel really good because I did get a really good night's sleep. I'm excited for everyone to come over today and just ready to have a good day. I get to eat some more carbs so 
so sadly I'm just excited about that. And yeah, so don't mind the noise. We're just kind of stuck in the snow right now. because we have this crystal in the window that Skylar set up. I went to the gym this morning. I wasn't 100% going to go because it's a rest day for me today, but I decided to do a little extra cardio because maybe I might indulge in a little something outside of my diet today. And we have our friends coming over soon, so I am excited to just relax. Like, These are my had, birthday like pancakes. Well, I've never seen, like, I've rarely seen something like this. Yeah, I I just had my latest check in. I haven't been feeling. I'll stop walking for a minute. I haven't been feeling very confident. I felt a little down, as you know. It's just a very odd experience. <laughs> I don't know if people talk about it enough that like there's definitely a lot of times so far during this prep that I felt like what the hell am I doing why am I doing this for what it's not always very motivating and um, super exciting to go to the gym and work out and look at your body every single day looking for changes looking for changes looking for changes and they're not always there anyways stopping to do our annual trip to Walmart that we do every week when Skylar takes me to my practice so that I can get the food that I need. They're actually inside right now picking it up for me because I'm diddle daddling and videoing and walking around complaining about nothing. <laughs> All right, goodbye. I am fading hardcore. I have my last meal of broccoli and chicken before I go work out. Usually I would have eaten already and been working out by now, but we're running a little late, so I'm definitely feeling fatigued and hungry. So I'm gonna eat this, take the other little half of a packet of Vegasport pre-workout that I have.
which I, it's not my favorite. I might go pick up some pre-workout today after. I have to do quads today, which is a really hard day because it's legs. And I still have to do my cardio today. So I'll be so excited when I get my protein shake after. It also like reeks like stinky broccoli. <laughs> Skylar's gonna be mad. So I'm about halfway through my cardio right now. Finished my leg workout. Feeling really tired. I'm only halfway through. And this is like, I guess, obviously where things get real. And that dedication, commitment, and all that really kicks in so that's where I'm at I'm just about to have something to eat and I'm cooking up one of my birthday presents <laughs> when you are on prep on your birthday this is the kind of gift you get from my best friend Kim and her wife Jay they got me some really good quality chicken so anyways, I'm about to eat that because I'm hungry. And I just had a full body massage and that was amazing and I booked one for next week because I've had a bit of a down in the dumps week so far. I was actually curled up in the fetal position yesterday, not feeling very good and Skylar was kind of nursing me back to health. Um, so today has been a better day, especially after that massage. So I think it's important to do things like that for yourself, especially when you're on any kind of a diet, you need to find other ways to treat yourself. Going to do my cardio right now. It's all a mental game. Actually, I feel like because my competition's only four weeks and two days out or whatever, that it actually makes it more torturous to do the cardio and the exercise because honestly, if I wasn't doing a competition, I would be going to the gym right now anyways. But because there's like a deadline and a requirement and I have to and there's like body fat that needs to be dropped and food that needs to be eaten, it makes it seem a lot more miserable. Also, this weekend I'm really excited because I'm going to go hang out with my mom and she's taking me to my final and only suit fitting for the competition suit that I bought a while ago. I honestly bought it in January, the used suit, and I've never attempted to really wear it or try it on again because I wasn't thrilled with how it looked then and I was like, okay, at this point in time, I'm gonna be ready and I'm gonna try it on and it's gonna be amazing. And honestly, haven't felt that if I put it on, I'm gonna feel incredible in it. And so I don't really want to put it on and feel freaked out or stressed out about it. Finished my cardio, but it just doesn't seem to do what it did for me in the past. Just feeling, just feeling a bit defeated this week, but trying not to. Mental, mental challenge. I had my first official complete freak out. As you know, I've been feeling kind of down and low energy and frustrated and having a hard week and a half or so. And then yesterday, I was waiting for Skylar to come pick me up from the gym. We had a miscommunication and I completely went like red, like berserk bananas. Skylar's never even seen me behave like that before lost my mind. I didn't even know. Like I did not recognize myself either. I'm usually not a very overly emotional person when it comes to anger, especially when it comes to me and Skylar. I generally can hold it down and be the calm one. So it was a little intense, but bound to happen. Hopefully the first and the last. That happened. That happened in the course of like two hours this morning. It is full on 
blizzarding in Vancouver. Okay, the intersection <laughs> lights are out. It's bad. Anyways, I'm braving the blizzard to go do 45 minutes because I gotta. It's my lunch. That's what I gotta do. So, a lot of people are actually leaving work early right now to go home because the roads are so bad. Traffic lights are out. Basically, our whole city shuts down when it starts to snow. I'm just on my way to the gym. Up, okay? <laughs> it is still snowing in Vancouver, which is not helping my plans, which is not good because I have to travel to a different city tomorrow to have my suit fitting for my competition suit. I also have posing class, which is not close by, and I was going to go visit my mom. So the roads right now are not very good. Hoping that will change. I'm also enjoying my lumpy protein shake. Mm -hmm. My coach emailed to tell me that I've successfully entered the quote sucky part end quote of fitness competition prep. Just when you thought it sucked, it actually wasn't the sucky part. That's what this is. Which means I'm going to be working out seven days a week. I will be four weeks out tomorrow so it's interesting because at 16 weeks you're like oh it's going by so fast and now that I have four weeks I it's like snails pace torturous and painful hello I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog because you know what it's Friday I'm tired it's the end of the week there's nothing left to do or say I'm enjoying my last meal of the night, doing some stuff on my computer and hopefully just aiming to have an awesome sleep and fingers crossed that tomorrow I get to go visit my family. And that cutie pie is going out on the town as in they're DJing and they're going to be up late. Sucka! I'm so happy it's going to be four weeks out. And we're getting there.